everybody and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. My name is Leo and my name is Devin. Today in Animal Crossing New Horizons we will be finishing up the right side of our shopping district and also working on the excavation site. So over here we're gonna develop it a little bit further and if we cut through the zoo we will be able to decorate the dig site. So, let's get right into it. Now, first things first is to get six dolls and we can place them down here after customizing them with Sable's designs and we have more opportunities for business over here. Make sure to watch till the end of this video to see how the shopping district is developed. Now, let's get right into it. First things first, let's get the stalls customized. This is the Star Fragment stall. This is the Festivity stall. This is the Pizza stall. This is the Pastry stall. This is the Nature stall. And lastly, this is the Books stall. Let's add some minor details underneath the stalls in the form of a custom design. And just like that, we are done. We added custom designs in the form of leaves underneath the stalls, so you can barely see it, but every detail matters. Now, time to decorate, and we will walk you through it. For the Star Fragment stall, we're going to be placing a throwback rocket. And this is gonna give off the astronomical effect. However, we do not have the star clocks needed to display star fragments, and we haven't decided what we will have on the side of the stall, so we will leave it empty for now. For our festivity stall, we're going to be placing a party popper on the left, and a bunny day basket on the right. Sadly, we do not have the lights to get. It hasn't been a full year, and we haven't hit New Year's yet, so we'll just leave it empty for now. And neither do we have ornaments, so we will have also another empty space on the side. For our pizza stall, we're going to be using custom designs. In the back, we're going to be placing a pro design in the form of a hat. This is going to be a pizza hat. And this is going to appear to look like a pie of pizza. On the right, we're going to be placing a revolving spice rack. Great! And in the future, we might add a little bit more detail, but for now, this is good. For a pastry stall, once again, we're going to be using custom designs in the form of a hat. And these ones are going to resemble a donut. And to the right, this one is going to resemble a cinnamon roll. For our nature stall, we're going to be placing a pink windflower right here. And to the right, we're going to be placing a holly star. Back here, we're going to be placing a monstera. And in front of it, we're going to have a seasonal tray. And this seasonal tray will have different seasonal objects that you can get, like cherry blossoms, summer shells, snowflakes, acorns, and pine cones. So since it's summer, we're going to be dropping a summer shell. Nice. For our book stall, on the left, we're going to be placing a magazine. And on the right, we're going to be placing some I'm gonna find it, sorry. Okay. For our book stall, we're going to be placing a magazine on the left, and on the right we're going to be placing some book stands. To the right here we're planning on having a magazine rack and a tiny library. However, we do not have enough magazines or books to craft either of them. So we're just gonna order some from Nook Shopping 
and craft them tomorrow and place them. But back here we can place one last piece of furniture and that is a record box. Good. For the final touch of our shopping district, we will add some furniture down here. And the only thing we have right now is a street organ. But on the right here, we will be having a street piano, and maybe we can have some other mini games or some other activities in our shopping district to add on the right. And just like that, we are done with our shopping district. Our next project is the dig site, and our first step to starting is to fill this whole entire box with dark dirt packs. We'll also be having an incline right here, so you don't have to always use the ladder to get down into the excavation site. No. And just like that, we're done. We placed down all the dark dirt paths, and the next step of business is to create a red steel staircase for us to walk down. Let's go to resident services. Here's the incline we're going to be using for our excavation site. And... Just like that, we have it in our inventory, and we're going to set up a location for it soon. And while we're at the Resident Services building, we might as well try to pull off the Resident Services glitch. The Resident Services glitch allows two players to morph inside of each other, and if you haven't checked out our recent video on Animal Crossing New Horizons 5 useless glitches, you might as well check it out on how to do it. Here's where we are going to be placing our red steel staircase. This is the spot. And we picked a spot for an incline. That's a step up for this island. Since we're kind of stuck in our excavation site, let's call rescue services so we can get out into resident services and access the AVD. And at the AVD, we're going to get the sufficient funds to pay off the red steel staircase. Nice, we're back at Resident Services. Let's go to the ABD. Let's climb down to the excavation site and pay off the red steel staircase. The design process is a long and lengthy task, so we will be doing this in a form of a timeline. Let's get on with it. Your attention, please. The Nookie Getaway Package Charter Flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island.
trapped ourselves again. But we have our ways out. However, the bug off is tomorrow, and we're going to use some of the items we earn tomorrow, hopefully, to decorate our dig site even more, like a bug cage and a termite mound. For now though, we left it empty, and we're waiting for the seal staircase to come in so we can move some stuff around and get in and out. We made a lot of progress today, but tomorrow, it's the bug off. So we will be switching our agenda from working on projects to trying to catch bugs and winning ourselves the gold trophy. So, see you tomorrow, or in the video terms, it will only be about 10 seconds from now. It is now the next day, and the bug off has begun. We will be participating and hoping to get the gold trophy. Let's get to it! During the bug off, we will be showing you the best and worst clips. And we will be hoping to show you all our accessories and furniture that we obtained from the bug off. successfully claimed ourselves a gold trophy. Devin got stung by wasp, but that's okay. We still were able to get 300 points, and that qualifies us for the gold trophy. Now, let's redeem our 300 points to get other bug off swag. The bug off was a major success. For furniture items, we got three toy centipedes, a toy cockroach, an artisanal bug cage, a termite mound, which both of those we can use for our dig site, and we also got three spider webs and spider door plates. In regards to fashion items, we got five ladybug umbrellas, three bug wands, two bug aloha shirts, two bug cages, and two butterfly backpacks. Yay! Lastly, we got multiple butterflies wallpapers and a ladybug rug. Since the bug off is over and it's now the next day, we obtained our magazines and books needed to craft the tiny library and the magazine rack. So we will be placing a tiny library here and a magazine rack here. With the new bug off items, we're going to be improving our dig site.
Unfortunately, we are run out of time for this video. Before we end off though, we're going to be placing a stone bridge connecting the museum to Asia Town. And this is going to be our final bridge slash incline of our town. So we'll pay it off and tomorrow we'll have it. Now that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Goodbye and have a nice day, you guys. See you later. Catch you in the next one.